Boys and girls, it's Professor Sal, the story gal, with a very special fall story about something I think you know about. There's a pumpkin in my story, and it's nighttime in the story, so we're going to do this with the lights off. The story is The Little Old Lady Who Wasn't Afraid of Anything by Linda Williams. And I have a helper today, too, so I'm really excited about this. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who wasn't afraid of anything. One day, she walked out into the woods to gather berries, nuts, and other good things. But she was out in the woods a little bit longer than she planned, and it began to get dark. So she gathered her basket with all her berries and nuts and began to walk home. Suddenly... In front of her, in the path, there were two shoes, and the shoes went plomp, plomp. Oh, get away from me. I am not afraid of you. And she kept walking down the path, but behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. Oh, she began to walk a little faster. Suddenly, in front of her, there was a pair of pants. And the pants went, wiggle, wiggle. Get away from me. I am not afraid of you, she said. And she walked on, but behind her, she could hear two shoes go. A one pair of pants go, wiggle, wiggle. <gasps> she stopped. In front of her was a shirt. And the shirt went, shake, shake. Get away from me. I am not afraid of you. And she kept walking, but behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, one shirt go shake, shake. Suddenly, there were two white gloves and one hat, and the gloves went clap, clap, and the hat went nod, nod. Get away from me. I am not afraid of you. But behind her, look, she could hear two shoes go clap, clap. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. And one hat go nod, nod. Oh, she began to walk faster and faster and faster. And suddenly in front of her, there was a very big and very orange pumpkin. And the pumpkin said, boo. <gasps> ah! This time the little old lady did not stop for anything, but began to run. She ran faster and faster. Yet behind her, she could hear two shoes go. <laughs> one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin say, boo! <gasps> she ran to her house as fast as she could. She opened the door, shut the door, locked the door, and sat down in her rocking chair. And she began to rock. Ooh, suddenly there was a knock at the door. <gasps> Should she answer it? Hmm. Remember? She wasn't afraid of anything. So she went to the door. And what do you think she saw? She saw two shoes go. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. And one scary pumpkin go boo, boo. <gasps> I'm not afraid of you, she said. Well, then what's to become of us, said the pumpkin. Then she whispered in the pumpkin's ear. And his face turned from looking upset to being happy, and he smiled. And he nodded his head. And she shut the door, and she went to bed. Hmm, wonder why he smiled. Let's find out. Oh, so after telling the pumpkin her idea, there's that picture. So cute. He's smiling now. She went to sleep. 
And when she woke up, she looked out her bedroom window. And what do you think she saw? She saw two shoes go. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin say boo. Scaring away all of the crows. Do you see what she turned into? That pumpkin, she turned into a scarecrow with her shirt and her pants and her shoes. What a fun story. Stay tuned for some more fall fun about pumpkins coming soon to Professor Sal, the story gal. Thanks for your help, pumpkin.